Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Memphis, are you napping on the heater? And half on the bed, and half on the heater. Oh, are you gonna wake up from your nap now that I started talking? Shelby's like, I was napping, and then you started talking, and then I woke up. <laughs> oh, good morning, guys. I don't know what the date is today. August 20-something. 22nd? 23rd? What's the date, Shelby? I don't know. It's like Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. That's about all I know. <gasps> Who's here? Go see! I think we got a delivery! You guys, I really don't think this could have showed up on a better day. <laughs> oh, thank you to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video and for feeding us for the next couple of days so I don't have to figure out what the heck to make. So as you guys know, we have done videos that have been sponsored by Blue Apron before. Thank you again to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video. This really could not have come at a better time. And on top of the fact that we don't have to figure out what the heck we're gonna eat for the next few days, there's a chance for you guys, the first 50 of you that click the link down in the video description below will get $50 off your next two weeks of Blue Apron, which is really cool. I, the, isn't it silly? Food's like, oh, this makes me feel so much better that I don't have to figure this out today. I mean, we've been doing okay, but this is nice. I don't have to figure this out. And I don't know how many of you guys know this. Blue Apron's really cool because they give you like a menu and there's like a whole bunch of different things you can select some so, from, so you can be kind of like picky about what you really want. So this time we went with the family plan because I think we're gonna possibly have Greg over for dinner. If not, we'll just have leftovers. I don't know if he's busy tonight or not, but I thought I would show you guys What's in this box today? We have spiced chicken quesadillas, which I picked because, I mean, look at them. Don't they look amazing? And then the Gouda Wife Burger. So they've been doing these Bob's Burgers things every couple weeks, and I thought it would be fun to try one. I mean, why not? It looks amazing. And if you're ever wondering what the inside of the box looks like, look at all the fresh, fun stuff. They come inside of a box that is kept cool. It's got this, it's got ice packs, so everything shows up and you can just take it out and stick it in your fridge or stick the whole box in your fridge. I actually usually take this bag out and this whole thing here and just put the whole thing in my fridge till I'm ready. But yeah, so I think this is what we're gonna make for dinner later on tonight. So stick around to see how that turns out. What are you doing, beautiful? They're like, Mom, it's so nice out. I just want to lay in the shade. Aren't you cute? Shelby, what are you doing? Are you thinking about digging? There's a nice breeze out here. It's actually a pretty nice day today. Uh, so, Jamie and I are doing a little bit better. I know we haven't talked a whole lot about it, but we're doing a little bit better. I don't know if, what that means exactly. We're both still pretty sad, and lots of things are triggering the sadness. There's a lot of wind, you're probably hearing that, but you know what, it feels good and it sounds amazing, so I'm gonna stay out here. Uh, anyway, Jamie just headed out to the farm. I don't know if I said that his dad and stepmom were down here because he's gotta have his treatments done at the hospital down here, but, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at, look at this, look at, look at. Oh, you're, look at you! Why are you so, why are you so cute? Oh, I gotta take a picture. I got a picture before she flips back over, good. Oh, you're laying down here too? Uh, but anyway, Jamie's out at the farm right now. They're staying out there in their trailer. They have a dog and stuff. They might come stay here for a few weeks too. We just haven't decided yet. But he headed out there. I think I'm gonna head out there in a little bit. And I don't know what today has in store for us. Besides, I know what I'm making for dinner, which is awesome that I don't have to think about it. That blue apron box showed up just in time. So we had a slight change of plans. I didn't end up going out to the farm. By the time I was ready to leave, Jamie was already on his way home. He's actually, it's actually evening. He's back home. He's outside uh, watering the grass right now. And I'm looking out this back window realizing that it must be that time of year again. Because I see the ants. <gasps> it's flying ant season. Ugh, we have flying ants. Jamie saw all the flying ants outside and he decided to go out there and try to suck them up with the lawnmower. And as weird as it is, I don't see as many, so maybe it's working. <laughs> Alright guys, as I said earlier in the video, we're gonna make some Blue Apron for dinner. And gee, look who came to help. Gee, my two best helpers. 
still makes me sad. I feel like we're missing a helper. Anyway, here is all of the stuff to make some food. And surprise, Greg's here! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Notice Shelby's like, look at my dragon. Look at this dragon. I have some jelly. All right, check that out. Shelby wants to show you her dragon, Greg. Oh my gosh, did you get a dragon? <laughs> Have it. She's Thank like, you. that's my dragon. I just, I just wanted you to you see it. <laughs> uh. So Greg stopped by and brought us some fresh corn from his garden. This is not for today though. This is actually for um, tomorrow when everybody comes over, right? So let's get back to uh, making our dinner. Let's make some dinner. Spiced chicken quesadillas. Now I'm not going to show you all of this step by step, but if you want to kind of see what I'm doing, here's all the instructions, which is also something really cool about Blue Apron. The instructions are all right here for us with little pictures to show us what we need to do. Okay, we got a salad prepared. We have our chicken tossed and coated in some Mexican blended spices. And now we're going to toss it into some hot olive oil and cook up this chicken. All right, salad's done, quesadillas are done. You gonna give it the taste test? I'm waiting. It's probably hot, be careful. Right, it probably is hot. I'm sure it's hot, it just came off the stove. It's, a quesadilla. it's really good, right? Mm -hmm. I already nibbled on the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's quesadilla. Right? And I didn't have to figure out what to make or how to make it. <laughs> <laughs> the box came and said, make this, and I said, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, you guys. It's delicious. As I said before, there's a link down below if you want to get your own blue apron box. It's really nice to not have to think about what to make for dinner a couple nights a week, especially right now. But uh, I'm gonna eat this food because I'm hungry. All right, we made some food. It was delicious. You girls ate earlier. It's a little dark outside, but what do you think, Shelby? Would you like to go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? How about you, Miss Memphis? Do you wanna go for a walk? Yeah? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah? Oh, okay. We'll take you for a walk. Um, tables aren't for walking on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh no, it's super dark outside. We can't see that the dogs are actually going for a walk. What? Here, can I light up my Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, Lights are right up. Yeah, it does. Shelby, lights are right up. Yep. Uh, anyway, we're taking the dogs for a little short walk. <laughs> is that fun? Nice short walk. Get the harness off, was it fun? Go get some water. I'm pretty sure it's not empty yet. Oh, it's still going. There's, there's water in there, go get some. <laughs> Memphis is like, oh, totally take some water. Yeah, good girl. You wait for her to be done, then you'll get some? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, uh, the tennis ball! Holy man. <laughs> Oh, does that light up in the camera that yeah, much? Yeah, it this does. It's crazy. All right, so, let's show them the rocks. Yeah, so we're gonna take, we gotta take this out. We haven't even told them yet why yeah. we bought it. Oh my gosh, here's a whole thing of rocks. Shelby, don't look at it right. That's Memphis. Oh, hi, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, see? Look, they took turns. Shelby's like, it's my turn for water now. So the other day my mom tagged me in something on Facebook about these rocks that they were calling Uper lights, which supposedly were UV light reactive rocks found in Michigan. The very first time ever? Like apparently it's never been done before. So we bought a UV light flashlight and uh, we were checking some of our rocks. Whoa! These aren't necessarily, well these are geodes. That's a geode. So. The quartz and the silica is going to light up, I guess the, they can light up a yellowish orange or a bluish <laughs> bluish color as well. These ones are apparently the yellowish orange one. Right. But, I mean... It's that, so bright in the camera. I know, like that, that just really lights up. Yeah, it does. But this rock is actually one we found in Michigan. And I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. But it actually lights up. It's super dark. Say that one more time. 
What? <laughs> what? Just you say, gotta do just, while I'm driving? Just, just say that one more time, hon. <laughs> I just realized that uh, we're going to this uh, uh, place called Rock or... Yeah. <laughs> Can you guess what's here? Yeah, well, anyway, I forgot shoes. Jamie forgot shoes. So, we're gonna, we're gonna probably have to cut this one short. Yeah, we won't be here super long. So we came out here with the UV light to see if we could can find glow in the dark say, rocks. Yeah, you can totally see that, right? <laughs> Jamie's like, whoa, what is that? It looks like a cigarette butt's like somebody who's out here and uh, it's burning. And that's hot or something. Yeah, it looks like the but ground is on fire, but. We think it's part of a fishing lure. Yeah, it's definitely like a you know, piece of plastic. Yeah, it definitely lights up though, so that's crazy. All right, so down the rocky terrain, barefooted. Wow, do my feet look really that? No, they're just walking. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, let's go play with the black light on the at the lake. Are we nuts? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down so I can make it down with you. <laughs> so we figured out that it lights up trash really well. Yep. There's yep. some down there and there was know. some at our feet. Yeah, yeah. It lights up these fossils decently. It, it does light up the flat fossils pretty bright. You can see right in there. Yep, that looks pretty bright. Yep. Lights up the fossils pretty good. That's pretty great too. So maybe yeah, maybe we'll, we will find some crazy rocks that glow. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty hmm. neat. That's definitely a fossil rock. Yeah. Fossil rock. Whoa. Yeah, great. Watch your walk, yeah. And the moon's out and it's really pretty. <laughs> this is how crazy we are. We're rock hunting at night. <laughs> And Jamie doesn't have any shoes on. I got no shoes. <laughs> so it's not a super glowy rock, but that one definitely lights up different than the rocks around it. Yeah. And whatever's in this lights up weird too, but and then also whatever's in this. Those are the but... trilobites. And oh, yeah, yeah. Those are but definitely, yeah, that's definitely a little different. Yeah, that one you should keep. We'll have to yep. look at it in the light. Um. <laughs> So this is like a full-on rock wow. full of fossils. I'm gonna have to come out here during the day. Does that change the light when I hit it with the blue? Yeah, it, it just does. makes it blue. That's you weird. Look at how cool that is. How many fossils are in this rock? That almost looks like a big, bigger bone. Doesn't it? Isn't that weird looking? And this that's just cool. weird angles. Those are pretty cool. So this is very common out here at Rockport to be able to actually come out here and see fossils right in the rocks. What is it? Trilobites and yep. stalagmites. Is this a giant Petoskey? It looks pretty close, sure yeah. It does. Huh. Yeah, right. Anyway, I got my light out because I wanted to show you guys what the rocks look like in light. And yes, this looks really gray. The rocks pretty much are really gray out here. Oh, there's a good one right there. But anyway, this is what we're looking at. And the bugs are finding our lights and it's beginning to suck. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of on this little slant oh, here. Oh, can see a couple of them. <laughs> can you? Yeah. Jamie's shining into the water. Oh, look, look at how bright that, oh my gosh, can you see, ouch. <laughs> the water's really warm, but these rocks are a little rough on my feet. Wow, can you see that one? Look at that. That is so cool. That's a Petoskey. Can, can you see that? I can see it, yeah. Right now, hold on. The I camera got, can see it, can, yeah. And you can still see well, yeah. hold on. I got another one right here, hold on. Oh my gosh, really? It's smaller. It might need a... Oh, that's the total opposite. That. that one's got the little tiny ones. That one's got the giant ones. That's so cool. Oh, there was another one right here. <laughs> Maybe I thought. I don't know, maybe not. There was one a little bit further out, I thought. Is that what it was? Yeah. So here's all the ones we picked up. And they definitely look pretty normal under this light. Shine them with your light and see. Uh, you can clearly see the difference, even with this There's other that, light on. See the other one? How white it makes everything. Yeah, even with the vehicle light on. Yep. And then, uh, can you see that? Oh, it wasn't even that side. It was probably no, this side. No, it was side. that side. Was it that little? Yeah, there. Yep, tilt that it. That one? Tilt it the other way. Right there. You can see it in the camera. See it? Oh, okay, yep. 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 Yeah, it's hard to see with the other, with the Jeep light on because yeah. the, the vehicle light's still on, but that's still... Remember? Big Petoskey. Big Petoskey. <laughs> yeah, cool. Little Petoskey. I like that one. Yeah, right I do too. That's a cool rock. Hey, Shelby. Your tongue is sticking out. 
I mean, in case you didn't know, your tongue is <laughs> Shelby. I know we're back from Rockport. Are you glad to see us? Hey, baby, your tongue is sticking out. Yeah, it. <laughs> I love you. She's like, why are you staring at me? I'm staring at her because she looks funny. It's, it's, oh, you fixed it. It's a napkin. I, I cut my finger on the way home with my own fingernail. It was kind of gross trying to open a spoon. Not that anybody wants to know. You want to see it? It's like the dumbest thing I've ever done. Oh, yeah. There. Gosh. Yeah, it hurts. I think I need a band-aid <laughs> considering it's been like 20 minutes and it's mm. still bleeding. I did that with my own fingernail. Whoops. <sighs> okay. Guys, so we are going to go ahead and head to bed. Day by day, we're learning to adjust. Jamie and I are really just trying to keep busy. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I think if we keep busy, it'll help, but things are still hard. I broke down a couple times today, so did he. I think that's gonna be happening for quite a while, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, we hope you have a wonderful night. As always, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Did everybody else look down at their phone because they thought their Facebook messenger went off? <laughs> It was mine. <laughs> uh, good night, audience.